Hey guys, Roger here. So today I've got something very cool to show you. This is a portable projector and it's the size of a can of drink. How cool is that? That's very cool. So this is called the Capsule and it's from a brand called Nebula, which is actually a sub brand of Anchor, which many people will know for their excellent smartphone chargers and cables. Now this projector has been around for a while already, but Nebula asked me if I wanted to review it and I love these portable projectors. So of course I said yes. So full disclosure, they sent this to me to take a look at, but as always, I'm giving you my own opinion. So there are lots of things that this projector does well, and there are a couple of things that I think could be improved. It's not going to replace a home cinema projector, for example, but if you're looking for something extremely portable, this is very cool. So there are three different versions of this projector, the capsule. And so if the features of this one aren't exactly what you want, then one of the other versions might do the job. Okay, so in the box you get a quick start guide and just a little bit of paperwork, the remote control, and then of course the projector, and it's just so tiny, it's so small. Now straight away you can feel how well made this is too. It's metal, it's heavy, it feels high quality, and I like that. So a few quick specs. This is a DLP LED projector. There is no bulb that needs to be replaced and the built-in LED bulb should last for around 30,000 hours. So if you use this for about four hours every day, the built-in bulb should last for about 20 years, something like that. So this is not something you really need to worry about. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You can use this as a Bluetooth speaker as well, which is cool. Uh, it has a five watt speaker, which surprisingly doesn't sound bad at all. It has a downward firing speaker and the sound comes out all the way around it, 360 degrees. It's loud, it's nice and clear, definitely good enough to use the speaker all the time and really not have to worry about using external speakers, which is good. So the capsule is actually using a version of Android for the operating system and you can also download and install apps like YouTube, Netflix and even games that you can play using the remote control. So you definitely can have a lot of fun with that. You can also cast from your phone or use AirPlay if you're using an iPhone, so that's pretty cool. But for video content on YouTube and Netflix, that kind of stuff, the easiest way I found is just to simply use the built-in apps. On the back of the projector, you have that micro USB port that's for charging, but you also have a full-size HDMI socket which supports an input of up to 1080p. Now there are quite a few portable projectors on the market, but not all of them have a full size HDMI input. So that's really good. It just means that you can connect so many things to this, like a Blu-ray player, satellite receiver, or even a PC. The capsule has a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, and that's gonna last for about four hours on a full charge. That's not bad. It's enough time to watch a few programs and you know, an entire film. And then charging this takes about two and a half hours via micro USB. Sadly, not USB-C, but that's the way it goes. It comes with the cable, but you're going to need to supply your own power adapter as it doesn't come with one. The good thing is though, you can use this while it's plugged in and charging as well. So the resolution on this is quite low. It's 854 by 480, so it is quite low. If it was 720p, I would have been really happy. But as I said earlier, there are three versions of this capsule projector and the capsule two does have a resolution of 720p. So if that is important to you, it might be worth looking at one of those other models. Back to this one though, and although it has a lower resolution, the image isn't too bad. I used a very simple portable screen, which I set up on my desk in the studio, and the size of the image is around 50 inches on this screen. But you know, if you've got a bigger projector screen or even a white wall, this will actually project an image up to 100 inches. So that's pretty cool. The thing is, the bigger the image is and the further away from the wall the projector is, the darker the image will be. So I think 50 inches is probably about the biggest I will go with this projector. It has a manual focus wheel, so once the projector's in place, you do need to manually focus the image, but that only takes a few seconds, that's quite easy to do. This is how it looks in a room with normal ambient light. So 
As you can see, it's usable. You can definitely see this during the daytime, but as with any projector, it definitely looks miles better and the image is much clearer and brighter in a darker room. So normally the light output or the brightness of a projector is measured in lumens. Normally with a home cinema projector, you'd be looking at thousands of lumens, but this actually has a brightness of 100 lumens. So as I said, to get the most out of this, you do need a dark room. So you get a remote control with this projector. It's very simple, but it does everything you need it to. On the top of the projector though, there are a few simple buttons and by holding the button with the two arrows just for a few seconds, that's how you switch this over to Bluetooth speaker mode. So if you want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker and disable the projector function for a while, then you can do that, it's easy to do. Uh, and if you want to know how it sounds, have a listen to this. There is also the Nebula app, which is very handy. You can control the projector using the app, which I think is much easier actually than using the remote control. So I like that. If you don't use the app and you just stick with the remote control, typing takes quite a long time because you have to click on every letter individually. So it does take a bit of time. The app definitely makes life easier. Another feature this has, and I'm really pleased about it, is automatic keystone. So what this does is if the projector is at an angle, let's say you put it on a tripod, and you can, by the way, put this on a tripod with the socket at the bottom, uh, but if the projector is not quite sitting straight, then the automatic keystone will adjust the image to make it straight. So that's quite a cool feature, and I'm pleased actually that the capsule has that. One other thing that I wanted to mention is noise. So the projector has a fan built in to help keep it cool. The good news is it's not as noisy as a full-size projector. So you don't really notice that fan noise. It's not really a problem at all, but it's worth knowing about. So that is the capsule from Nebula. It's easy to put this in your bag or even in your pocket and take it literally anywhere. It might not be perfect, and I think the two things that would make this better are having a higher resolution and also a brighter output. But as I said earlier, there are other versions of this same projector that do address those things. So if the resolution isn't quite high enough, or perhaps this isn't gonna be bright enough for what you need, then I would definitely have a look at one of the other two capsule projectors from Nebula, that's the Capsule 2 and the Capsule Max. A big thanks then to Nebula for sending the projector out for this video. If you enjoyed the video, or maybe you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do consider subscribing so that you don't miss my next video. I'm Roger with Life of Tech. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, see you in the next one. Oh, oh, I wanna be the one to hold you